Bill. For best, for best actor goes to Senator Obenshain. Okay. A heated debate. But the exchange that just took place between Senator Sasslaw and Obenshain is unacceptable in the Senate. It is unacceptable. Inside the committee room. There was arguing, there was a rush to get these bills done. And out. I was in the room at seven years old, in the room, and I saw the look in that man's eyes when he executed my mother and my grandmother. Do not disarm the law-abiding citizens of Virginia. When you train with a firearm, you're not just training to shoot. You are conditioning yourself to kill. Monday, dozens gathered for the Senate Judiciary Committee's consideration of several gun-related bills. Some with their arms in the air and gun save lives stickers, others wearing a different message. In the end, the committee passed the majority of bills like the so-called red flag law, which would allow a firearm to be seized if a person is deemed a risk of personal injury to themselves or others. They also passed a bill to give localities control over where firearms are allowed, something gun rights supporters like Candy Eubank say will only make them less safe. Criminals do not obey the laws. If you start changing the rules for each locality, we'll never know what's right and wrong from one county line to the next county line. But one bill, House Bill 1288, was passed over for the year, despite urges from gun control supporters to pass it. I don't think that there is any reason we should wait until next year for this very important provision. Um, these are very serious offenses. The bill would have prohibited a person who has been convicted of certain domestic violence related crimes from having a gun. Still, gun rights supporters believe the bills passed will have the biggest impact on law abiding citizens. I think they keep attacking law abiding citizens with more penalties to make us criminals. Now, most of the bills that passed today were passed with a modification or substitute from the original bill. They will now head to the full Senate. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.